Now, welcome back. Was that fun? Let's see what Candace is doing. Candace left school at 319. She got home 32 minutes later. We want to know when did she arrive at home. Okay, so she's leaving at 319. So that's our start time. She's leaving at 319. I'm going to call this spot right here 319. Now, if I'm arriving home 32 minutes later, how am I going to count 32 from 19 minutes? Well, if we go forward 10 minutes, then it's 329. If I go another 10 minutes, then it's 339. If I go another 10 minutes, then it's 349. So now I've jumped 10, 20, 30, of my 32, I only have two left, so I count one, two, which will be 350, and then 351. Okay, maybe you'd like to do that a different way. Maybe you'd like to count the two of the 32 first. Are you allowed to do that? Of course you can. If that works for you, that's just fine. So let's count that two. One is 320. Two is 321. Now I've used those two minutes. I have 30 left. Well, let's do our tens. Hop 10, that's 331. Hop 10, that's 341. Hop 10, it's 351. So now I've used my two right here, and then I've hopped 10, 20, 30, again landing at 351. Let's try another together. Guillermo rode his bike from school to Ron's house. The ride took 27 minutes. He arrived at Ron's at 4.15. Okay, he arrived at Ron's at 4.15, and it took him 27 minutes to get there. So we're working from this arrival time at Ron's house of 4.15. But I left before, so I'm looking for some sort of time over here somewhere. I need to back up 27 minutes. Well, I'm at 4.15. How am I going to back up 27 minutes? Well, you can back up by fives or tens, whatever works for you. Let's back up by fives. If I go five, it's 4.10. Five more, 4.05. Five more, now it's four. Five more, 3.55. Okay, how far have I gone? Five, 10, 15, 20. I've gone 20, I'm trying to go 27. So if we go another five, it's 350. Now, how much do I have left? If I've gone 25, I just have two more left. So back it up two more from 350, 349, 348. Now it's your turn.